Robots keep raiding my farm so I need to get better tools and materials. And the best way to do that is by finding the dwarf shop. I don't know what it looks like, but I know they are selling some amazing items in there, so I have to find it. For that, we'll need an exploration car. This has to be quick and nimble so that we can explore a lot and we can run away from robots and also run them over. That's why we will need a seat. So for that, we'll need cotton. One thing I found off camera while I was searching is I found a ton of cotton. So we've got 34 here. That's gonna be good to get a car. We will also want to put saw blades on the car. That's going to make it so much better. So yeah, we can get however many saw blades we want, really. They are pretty cheap. So we'll attach these to the front of the car so that we can run robots over and we'll cut them up. We don't have anything planted right now because if we are going away from the base, I don't want a raid coming here because they could destroy everything if I'm not here to fight them off. But yeah, we'll keep this vehicle as a mining rig and then we'll have another smaller one to go. We might also want a bed. So we need wood wood cotton and paint we've got paint right here we need more cotton as well and we'll need some wood i think we've got more right here all right our city is done and now i'll just get all this wood so i'll craft all the materials and then i'll show you as we build the car but the main things about it is that it's going to be quick small we want a bed on it we want a chest as well and we are gonna have saw blades on the front i'm also thinking about adding some sport suspension to it so we'll see exactly how to make it the best car we can build at the moment all right so i got all the materials ready we've got suspension pieces we've got saw blades we've got our wheels we've got three different engines because this will be all-wheel drive and we'll also have the saw blades spinning and i realized after crafting three engines that we could have just upgraded one of them and link it to four bearings instead of just two but yeah we're gonna need more engines anyway so let's start building this and i'm going to build it out of metal just to make it a little bit heavier so it sticks to the ground that way we can turn faster so we can evade robots and we can go after them to run them over so i will just start with the wheels here let me put the lift in the middle just like that we should start with the wheels so we'll have it something like that I think that's a pretty good distance between the wheels. We want this to be pretty nimble. And I hope this is long enough to place everything on it. But we'll see in just a second. Because we've also got a chest and a bed. So this will be the front. We'll have steering here. And there we go. We've got our front suspension going. Do you think the car will be too high up? But then again, we've got some small wheels. So if we go off-road, we might want to have it a little bit higher. I'm just really concerned about turns. I don't want to flip over when I take a sudden turn. So let's keep on doing this. We've got our back suspension as well. All right, so now we have it for the front as well. We can just do that. Now it's time for the bearings. And then we can attach the wheels as well. All right, so we've got our wheels here. We've got all four of them. That's great. Now we can start building things up top here. So we've got a seat, we've got the bed, we've got the chest, and then we'll need to place the engines as well. So if I place the bed like this, it will take way too much space on this. But if I place the chest here, why isn't the seat as wide as the chest? That's weird. But anyways, we can add the bed up on top of that. So now we are saving some space. And by the way, the bed is so that we can have a respawn point on the car. So if something happens and we are very far away from the base, we don't want to get respawned here. We want to get respawned at the car. But anyway, I just realized we should make this car just a little bit wider. So I'm going to delete this. And then I'll add two blocks in here. And now we can put this back on. All right, so that should be better, but now this isn't centered in the back. I placed it the other way, and that way we can place it in the middle. Now let's put the bed on here as well. But this is pretty weird, so what if we have it this way instead? I guess that's better. All right, now we'll need the seat, and that's gonna be in front here. All right, that's how it will look. And then we'll need the engines as well and the suspension stiffness i think we can have it to maximum and then we can adjust it later so i'll put one here i'll put another one here so we've got two right on that and then the last one i think we should have it here i mean there's no other way to make it perfectly balanced left to right so then we'll have to extend this just a little bit forward and yeah this might be too heavy in the front because we'll have to add the saw blades as well three like that and then we can have our bearings here 
And now we can have the saw blades down here. So I think that should be good. And we should be able to just go forward and cut down all the robots that are in front of us. So then this engine will be responsible for this. And let me just figure this out here. So we want them spinning inwards. So like that both of them should be spinning towards the middle so that we are dragging the robots and feeding them in here. We don't want to throw them to the side. We want to run them over. So that's how that will work. I'm still concerned about the balancing of this, but we can work that out as we go. So we've got our engine for the back and then another one for the front that should be good we'll connect both of them to the seat and then all we need is a switch i'll actually place it on the side here so this switch will go to this engine and to the seat okay so that's most of it we'll still have to add stuff in the back we'll set the engines to maximum power and we'll give them some fuel as well so now let's see how this feels it's definitely way too heavy in the front but I think I know how to fix that because the vehicle seems to be too light in total. So we need to add some weight and I'm just going to add weight to the back. This way we are also a little bit protected. We want to protect the chest especially so that nothing can destroy it. And the bed is a pretty important part too. But let me see if this fixes it or if we need some more. Now it seems to be pretty level. It's no longer leaning in the front. Why, why can't we turn that well? I feel like we are not turning very well. All right, so maybe the engines have just too much power. We are really unstable, so let's just take them down. Oh, we've got a haybot here. Come on, come here. Come here. There we go. All right. We'll take the engines down by two. Now let's see how this works. Okay, this feels much better. Now we can actually turn. Because the wheels aren't just spinning, they are actually grabbing the ground and we can move a little bit better. So yeah, we can steer on a dime and we can also turn on the saw blades. Yeah, actually, let me just try this on a three, see how that works. And then we'll also try it on robots. Okay, this is pretty interesting. All right, we got it. We got it. So we can just drive by the whole tree and we will have all of it. Hop. Wow, this will really get us a ton of wood, that's nice. And once we do this to robots, we're also going to get a ton of component kits and other resources that we really need. So I'll grab that wood off camera and I'll place everything we need in this chest right here. We'll get food in there, we'll get some more fuel as well. And then we can start exploring. I actually saw some buildings in the middle of the ocean over on that side, so we might want to go there as well. Unfortunately, we'll have to swim, but in a future video, I want to build a boat as well. So for now, I'll just get this done and we can start exploring. Okay, so we are out exploring. We've got everything we need with us. So I want to get to those buildings on the other side of this lake or ocean or whatever that is. And then I know I saw some kind of building in the middle of an ocean. So I want to find that as well, see what's over there. And in the meantime, whenever we see a robot, I'll just get out and fight it. Because we'll need all of these components to build something really nice. So we're gonna need a ton of stuff. While we explore, we can get these crates as well. These always provide good things. We've got another one, so let's get all of those circuit boards. This one was fighting a walk, so we saved it. We also have some walk meat. We might want to get a cook bot and see what we can do with that. From what I understand from the description of the cook bot, I think we can also craft some sort of food that will regenerate health as well. So that will be like a med pack in other games, but here it's a type of food. And we are really getting attacked, so we might need to use this. Come here. Get in here. Oops, that, that, that didn't go as planned. Let me try it one more time. Come on. Come on. Okay, we are damaging them, but I think we need some more speed if we want to run them over. Yeah, okay, so if we, if we sit on top of them, I think that damages them more. So I guess it worked. It didn't really go as planned, but if it works, it works. But the car seems to be pretty capable, so I'm confident that we've got everything we need here. And with the bed as well, we have a respawn point right there. So yeah, I'm pretty confident about this. Let me just get to those buildings and then I'll show you what's in there. Oh, but as I say that, we've got some other buildings over here. So let's see this as well. This building doesn't seem to have a lot. We've got just some crates, I guess. But I think we can go one level above. Yeah, so let me use the lift for that. Okay, and now we'll need to go a little bit higher up. 
So we are on the roof of this building, but I can't seem to find anything here. So I guess that's it. But we've got another building right here. I think that's going to be pretty hard to get all the way up there. It's really good that we can use the connection tool to see where the vehicle is, because you can see these through walls and around corners and even through terrain. So whenever I can't find my vehicle, I'm just using the connection tool and that makes it a lot easier. Oh, but look at that. We found cotton. So I think this biome is called Autumn Forest. And in this biome, you will always find cotton, which is really good. We can use this to get the seeds that we want. We can use this for beds as well. And I think there are some other stuff that you can use with it. So yeah, I'll just get all of this and then we can go on with our search for the dwarf shop. I'm really excited about the shop because I want to buy some cool guns that will really help us a lot. So then I can feel more confident planting more crops and getting bigger raids. We've got some more crates here. All right. Oh, and we've got a dwarf. Okay, so I think you have to bring these to the dwarf shop. So you have to figure out a way to put them on a vehicle and carry them around. But first we need to find the dwarf shop because we don't know where we are going. But I should also remember where this was. So I might want to bring him next to the water so that if we go on the shore, we'll see him. So I think bringing these guys over to the dwarf shop is like some type of currency. So if you bring enough of them, you can buy stuff with the currency that you get. And you can also bring big packages of crops, but you have to package them first. We should also find a packaging station, but I'm sure we'll come across one of those as well. All right, so I leave this guy here in the water. I think he can float. Yeah, he floats. Okay, so we'll see him on the water. And I lost my car again. Okay, there it is. There it is. I told you the connection tool is really a lifesaver. It seems like we're gonna have to swim anyway, so I'll just go from here and we'll reach all of these buildings. Oh, and we've got some glowfish as well. Or I think that's what they're called. So can we get anything out of them? I think we can get the stuff that you use to craft batteries. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get anything from that. Now I'm sorry for that poor little guy. We didn't have to do that to him because we didn't get anything anyway. But let me just swim all the way over to the other side. This might take a while. We got to these buildings and I can also see the building that's in the middle of the ocean there. So that's what I want to get to. And I think there might be something over there as well. But let me just get up this thing now and see what we've got here. I can hear a lot of robots, but I don't see them. All right, so there they are. Oh, that's one right next to me. Okay, that scared me a bit. I can't really see well in this wheat field, but I'm going to do my best. I'm at the top of the first building and it's getting pretty dark, but we can see a lot from up here. And I found a very special box. This one, I think it's legendary or something. It's yellow, not green. So let's hit it and see what we get. Oh, we got a spore suspension out of this. Component kit. And we've got carrot seeds. All right, so that's pretty good. We've got some really nice stuff out of that. Now we can see everything from up here. So we've got these two buildings, but I really want to get there and see what that's all about. But I have a feeling the dwarf shop is somewhere in these hills. So if we don't find anything relevant in these areas, then I'm going to head over there next. We are almost there. I swam all the way across. And we found this thing, but it seems to be pretty high up. I think we've got some stairs over there. We've got robots waiting for us as well. So let's see what we've got over here. Come on, you haybot. Come on. There we go. Right, we've got another one here. It's all right if it's just one or two, but we don't want to fight more than that at a time because that gets dangerous. Okay, now let's be cautious here as we climb up. We don't want to get blindsided by the haybots. Because if we encounter four or five of them, then we're in trouble. Okay, there's another one here. And another one to the left. They can just run around and do that. Oops, they hit me. Okay, the other one is not coming, so we only have one. That one haybot killed us. So now if we respawn, we should be back at the vehicle. And we are all the way here. So we have to swim all the way to this island and then swim across to that. Well, that's gonna take a while, but we have to get all our items back. And we've got a tote bot here. All right. So I'll go back there. I'm gonna get all of that. And I don't think there's any dwarf shop on that side. So I'll just take the vehicle and we'll go into these hills. 
we might have more luck over there. Alright, so I found the packaging station. I actually went back to the base to leave all the items we had there. And now we found this packaging station and we've got a graph explaining how this works. So we would need a vacuum pump to get items from a chest into this. And this will give us one of these items. And I think that's what we will use as currency in the shop. We might be pretty close to finding the shop as well. I have to check on this side because I was checking next to the water and it's definitely not there. But after we know where the shop is, we'll definitely need to get some of these so we can package all of these things here. And we can also rescue the dwarves that are stuck in the cages. Those are used as currency as well. I'll just go around these hills and once I find the shop, then we can start trading there. Okay, so right behind the packaging station, I found all of this. And if we go up here, we'll be able to see the dwarf shop. My car just started rolling downhill once I started recording. But if we go past these signs, then here it is. This is the dwarf shop and we will be able to trade here. We've got another graphic explaining how we can place things in there. All right, so if we get our car, we'll probably have to bring the big one here. So we'll get it in here with the materials that we are using to trade and this will get them from the vehicle. And once we've got that, we can start trading here. Oh, and here's the dwarf. So let's use this. All right, so this is the dwarf hideout. We can buy all of this right now. And this is our currency. We have zero of each one so far. And down here, you can see what we are trading for each of them. So I really want a gun. This is a mountable spot gun. We can use those for turrets. But I want just the normal kind. What's the cheapest? I think this one, the spot gun, the normal one is the cheapest. Yeah, these are pretty advanced stuff. I don't even know what that is. Is that like a pineapple? I think I don't know. So the spot gun will need oranges, will need blueberries, and will need to rescue a dwarf. We already found the dwarf, but we don't have this, and we can't even package them at the station we found. Okay, so that's gonna get pretty complicated. But we can also get drills and saw blades. Oh, but look at that, cotton seeds. That would be pretty nice. If we could get some of these seeds, then we won't need to go around and find cotton. We could just have them in the base, but we'll need bananas for that. Oh, and we can get banana seeds with carrot seeds. All right, so we can use tomatoes and beets to get the oranges and the blueberries. So once we get those, then we can use them to get our spot gun. So this is the shop. Now we'll have to go rescue that dwarf. We'll have to get some packages here and get them up there. So we'll need a ton of resources. So I'll have to package some and then I'll show you how it works. I've got a chest with tomatoes and beets and I've got a pump. I set the pump into the back of the chest. I think you can only do this with the advanced chests because I think the normal ones don't have the attachments so that you can put the pump there. So I think we need to back in here. Let me get out and is that a button? But it's not really doing anything. Once we get here, it opens. But what else do we need to do with it? So we need to back in there. So what's wrong with this? We actually need to turn the pump on, so I'll attach it to this switch. Oh, and now it's turned on. And the drills are also going, let's just pop that. Okay, so now it keeps going, but do we have to keep pressing this? Yeah, I think we are like putting them in there, so I might need to come up with a better system, maybe a button that we can hold down. And look at that, we've got our first package of tomatoes. So we'll need to attach this to the vehicle and we'll need to drive it all the way to the farmer. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that's that's not great, but it's doable. And how many tomatoes did that use? Yeah, so 10 of them. All right, so 10 tomatoes is one full stack of them. So I just need to keep pressing this and we've got another full one. There we go. But yeah, now let's do the beats as well, and I'll see if we can haul all of them in there. We also need to move over to the beats. And I think I got the pump reversed, so that's not good. Alright, now we're talking. And I need to keep doing this. Is that going up? Yeah, it is. And they're getting packaged right here. And now we get them all the way on this side. I'll grab the last one with the bits and then we can go to the dwarf shop and see what we can do with them. Here we are. These things are pretty heavy, so it was a long drive. It felt like we were underpowered. 
so we might need more engines if we're holding four of these things but now i think we just need to press the button okay so we need to press it once for each and now we should have two of each of them so let's see yes yeah, so we've got two beets and two tomatoes so we are close to being able to get these seeds we still need one more of each and then we can get orange and blueberry seeds which will allow us to eventually get a spot gun as well but we still need to rescue a dwarf that means we'll need to collect a ton of resources and probably get a much bigger farm make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and i'll see you next time